Hello, my name is Sharon Lavos, but I just go by Bob. I am not your typical painter. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about the current painting that I'm working on. I don't have a title yet for it, but it's a scene from the city of Galambaca in Greece. I chose to do this painting because I was listening to Moby's God Over the Face of Water and it kind of inspired me. If anyone has been to the city, they would know it's a very religious city. There's actually a bunch of monasteries in the mountains, but what caught my eye more than the monasteries is just like the view and the mountains and how these two little towns are like nestled in here. And I chose to do this as a painting for the detail. I kind of wanted to take a stab at all these like little buildings the farmland and also like the detail that you find here into the mountains there's lots of like little details this painting also is kind of like led into make me do my current painting what really actually inspired me is the little town that's in the background pretty much well it's a village actually um, as I was painting this I started getting this idea what if I did like a larger scale, like a painting that had a lot of little buildings in it? Um, I knew uh, this was just possibly like the start of something because like I, I was very interested in painting all the little buildings and possibly like little windows. Um, yeah, they're a small part of this painting, but this is also partially uh, the reason why I chose my current work. As you can see, I did do a grid for this painting because I wanted to do it as accurate as possible. There's no way I could have done this <laughs> without like a grid. I didn't do too much of a, a grid. I just did 16 squares or rectangles actually. Besides that, I'm also using a monitor to do uh, detail. So this monitor right here is pretty much going to be right now I am struggling to get the proper layup of the, the city as you can see I have my grid and I have my painting right here with a grid I'm not too worried just yet on the detail I'm more focused right now on just getting the buildings the streets and the patches of green and uh, trees like in the right spot and then in the end I'm gonna go into some of the detail but the area that I'm gonna really focus on detail is like the closer over here where these buildings are pretty much more up close uh, the reason I want to focus so much on getting these buildings as accurate as possible I look at it this way this city is someone's city that house is someone's house, or that hotel or building is someone's hotel. Someone has lived here before, someone visited here before, and I want it to be as accurate as possible. I'm not saying it's gonna be a realistic painting, but I'm gonna try to get as much realism in the actual geography. I can't wait for it to be more on the polished side but as of right now this is, is the groundworks of my painting as you can see I'm not really that colorful yet I'm more focused on getting the groundwork first and then I'm gonna go into more detail later so yeah my colors are kind of muddy right now but the closer to the finish I get the more polished it's gonna get these are some of my tiny brushes these are some of my bigger brushes as you can see, I don't use that much uh, in terms of like size of bristles. They're all very small. I do have some bigger brushes, some cheap ones. But these are my really nice brushes right here. They're my Da Vinci's, and these are some Princeton's that surprisingly are pretty good. Velvet Touch, in case you're wondering. And these are my paints. I currently am favoring. Cerulean blue and cobalt blue. As for my greens, I 
two different Viridians. I do favor mostly the Windsor and Newton, but I have my off, well, it's not off brand, but I just got this for really cheap. It was on clearance, um, so I use it. And I got my Cadmium Orange, I believe. I got my Elizabeth Crimson. I have two different whites, Titanium and Zinc. I like the Titanium for really standout um, whites and the Zinc for mixing colors. And neutral, I'm not that much of a fan of neutral, but I do got some burnt sienna and some uh, burnt umber. And this is a little bottle of softer flaked white. And um, oh, yeah, here's another neutral. This is raw sienna. I bought this as more of an experiment. But uh, I do favor the cadmiums mostly. I got some more cadmiums right here. This is cadmium pale, cadmium red, and cadmium yellow. As you can see, these colors have seen better days. But it's not the appearance that matters, it's what goes on the canvas in the end. And I'll close my video by showing the most up to date version of my painting. As you can see, I made some progress. I started working on the city. And thank you again for watching.